Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can save SSH sessions to Windows Terminal so you can access your remote clients in a single click. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when setting up SSH for uh, Windows Terminal is you want to make sure that you have the Windows 10 SSH client installed. It comes by default, but you want to just test to verify that it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and do this by just going SSH, and then I'm going to put in PI for my username, and then 10.1.1.28, but use your credentials for whatever box you're connecting to. When I hit enter, I can see that I'm prompted for a password so I know I have an SSH client installed. I'm going to exit out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and build the profile so we have a button when we go up to the top that says Raspberry Pi. And then we click it and we'll SSH to it. So it's very easy to do. Head on over into the settings and I'm just going to move this screen up so everyone can see it. And as you can see there's a bunch of different profiles in here. I'm just going to take my current PowerShell one because I like the settings in it and I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it again. Just make sure you're not missing a comma or anything when you do that. So now that that's done, what we need to do next is give it a unique name and a unique global identifier. So you see this string right here. This needs to be a unique string. You can generate one on the web or using a utility or you can be lazy like me and just change a few characters. So I'm going to change 4BF to AAA. And then the next thing I want to do is give this a name. So instead of Windows PowerShell, I'm going to call mine Raspberry Pi because I'm going to be connecting to my Raspberry Pi. And this is the important line here, the command line. So how Windows Terminal works is it's basically just like a command prompt but it's running this command line and for PowerShell it's just command prompt running PowerShell. So instead of running PowerShell we want it to run SSH. So we'll say SSH and then we'll just put in the same parameters that we would to SSH to our client. So I'll say pi at 10.1.1.28 and that should be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly save it here and we can see that we have the Raspberry Pi SSH session available to us. Let's go ahead and test it out. I click on it and I'm prompted for a password and I am connected. And it's that easy to set up the SSH session. But if I go ahead and look up here again, you can see that there's no icon there. So it's not as pretty as it should be. Let's go ahead and add an icon. So to do that, hop back in here and I'm gonna take this background image line and I'm gonna copy it and paste it. And then I'm going to change it to icon. And it's gonna be in the same location, the MS app data roaming, but we're gonna change the image name to pi.png. And I'll save it. And you can see that the icon shows up immediately. So if you want this to work for yourself, you're going to need to make sure that you have this icon in this location. And if I pull up Windows Explorer, you can see that I have the icon in this location. The path is this. It's the local data slash packages, Microsoft Windows Terminal, and a bunch of strings. I'm going to leave it in the description below for you guys. So you can just copy and paste it there and then you can put in your image for whatever it is you want. I suggest a 32 pixel image and you can basically find them anywhere. I just googled for this pi.png 32 pixel image and I was able to find it pretty quickly. And if anyone has any suggestions for 32 pixel icons that would be good for Windows Terminal and SSH sessions to things like Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu or whatever it is, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. I'm really interested in what you guys have. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. If you're interested in learning more about Windows Terminal, I suggest checking my full Windows Terminal tutorial I will put a link to that in the description below as well. And remember, if the woman don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy.